Morning guys, Baz here. Welcome to another video. Today is Friday, the last day of the week. I love Fridays. Tonight we have got a good workout and a good skill. We are practicing muscle ups and in the workout as well we have muscle ups. Ring ones, which is going to be good fun. There's nothing better than working something you're not so good at. So in the skill, I think I'll be going for some strict ones. Um, maybe do some kind of EMOM. I always tend, if we have, say, pull-ups in a skill or dips in a skill, I always do them strict. So all my accessory work is always done strict. It's only in the workouts where I will, only in the workouts where I'll actually practice the movement kipping. The reason for this is it's good to have that strict strength foundation for when it comes to the kipping movements, and you'll be able to do a lot more if you keep practicing them. Anyway, gonna get to work now, and so guys, can you see me? Yes. Okay. So guys, heading to the gym now. The weather isn't as good as it was before. Also, further news on the squat rack. Those boxes I had yesterday were probably not the squat rack. They were probably the attachments. I realize they're a bit small. This is definitely the squat rack, if we take a look at this. That was all the way the boot and out the front of my car, and my car's pretty long, so that's definitely the squat rack. It's 210 centimeters high, and I'm pretty sure that will fit in my garage. If not, massive fail. But I'm gonna be putting that up tonight after the gym. As I mentioned earlier today is muscle ups and muscle ups in the skill and I've decided my EMOM is going to be one strict followed directly by one kip every minute on the minute for 10 minutes and then the workout itself is going to be a fun one but it's going to be quite light because we have a 10k run for time tomorrow morning. So let's get to the gym and let's dive into that. <laughs> Nice start, good work, buddy. Make sure you focus on the shot for the full story, come on. Your last round.
go guys, that's the workout complete. You saw in the strict phase right there, um, I was doing an EMOM of one strict, one kip muscle up. And then in the workout, I had to do only a total of 15. But after 150 sit ups and 75 dumbbell snatches at the 17.1 weight of 22.5 or 50 pounds, it was pretty hard work getting them done. So breaking it down at the sets was pretty difficult. But uh, the workout nonetheless was a 50 minute time cap and I finished it with just three muscle ups to go. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. We're gonna pick this video up tomorrow when I'm putting together this squat rack. Not gonna have time to do it tonight. It's half seven already and I have seasons five of suits to watch. So, speedy guys, tomorrow after I've done the 10K run, I'll let you know what time I get as well. Speedy guys in a bit. So guys, it's the next day and I'm gonna quickly go out there and get all the stuff from the car into the garage and then I'm gonna go for a 10k run. Shoe of choice, Reebok Speed TRs. They're really comfortable and they're really light. Um, if you're just starting out CrossFit and you don't wanna go for the full 90 pounds the nanos, I'd honestly recommend going for these. These are, these are pretty good, just as comfortable. Uh, in fact, I'd say more comfortable, but maybe not quite as much support as you would get for in the lifting and stuff as the nanos. Um, and obviously nowhere near as much support as lifters, but nonetheless these are really really good shoes and Great great for running. So I'll be using these to run the day But first let's get all the stuff from the car to the garage It's a good sign that the tallest it can be fits in here standing. It's a reasonably high roof. That's the run finish guys. 10k done. Everyone totally killed it. The best time there was 45 minutes by Chris. He totally smashed it. Chris here. PB for me as well. That loop normally takes me, I've done it quite a few times. I use an app called Strava to track it and that was my best by like three minutes. I did it in 52 minutes 30 seconds in the end. That's 10k. So it's just, it's about, what is it, five, five minutes, 15 seconds per kilometers. If I went much quicker, it would have fell apart. So it's a good pace for me, five minutes, 15 seconds per K, 10 Ks, 52 and a half minutes in total. Just then before I picked up the camera, I've been uploading the last YouTube video. So go check that out if you haven't yet seen it. It's a good one. It's got a nice heavy squat clean complex in it. And right now I'm gonna get changed and showered and then start putting the squat rack and accessories together. Let's do it. So guys, I'm gonna get started on building this. Plan, pull this down and build on the mat. Which means no lifting outside until I get extra mats, but at least everything will be set. Let's get it all started, let's get it begun. I'm also wearing my Radio 1 Big Weekend t-shirt from Glasgow 2012, 14? I can't remember. So here's the stuff, Kat and I are gonna go through it, we've unboxed it all. We're gonna set it out, commence the time lapse in three, two, one. So guys, pretty much got it together now. It's looking good, I've got the pull up bar up here. I haven't tested it yet. It works. Got these dip bars, paid a little bit of extra for them, but they're a bit flimsy. <laughs> but nonetheless, they work. Probably won't use them much. And then of course, the actual reason why we bought it. It fits. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. Fits the barbell in nicely, these are the bar catches. Let's just see what we can do. 
and then like if you fail you've got your bar catches there as well so yeah it's gonna be good for squatting with and then we can now hang our plates nicely on each side so I'm just gonna stick all the plates on now I've also got the bench there like I mentioned in the last video Pretty, pretty happy the way it turns out. To get a bit more space, because I'm a bit, I'll probably pull the rack out a bit. I can also move these to here, so I can kind of squat freely. Got a bit more room to do so. But to be honest, this is a bit sturdier than I expected. This pull-up bar, as long as I don't hit my head on the roof. But yeah, it's light enough, so during the good weather, I can whip it out as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video there, guys. That's it, build. And later on tonight, cat might use it, but I'm not because my 10k run has ruined my legs. So in the next video, we'll probably see this make an appearance. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment any thoughts, subscribe, and like the video. Ready? Go. Oh, we've hit depth. So Kat's gonna try a quick pull up. Oh, it's just the right height for Kat. Pull. Yeah. Ah, next time, next time.